With all this cold weather and snow that we've been having this past week, you're probably longing for something homey and warm. Well, one local place is serving up food that is just as cozy as its log cabin atmosphere. Sign me up, please. It's a longtime favorite in the Plymouth area. Michelle Oliver is taking us to dine in the D at Carl's Cabin. <laughs> If you're craving some comfort food, like a French onion soup loaded up with cheese, or this tall brisket sandwich, then look no further than Carl's Cabin in Plymouth. Anything that is filling, you know, we give good portions. We want people to feel satisfied and also pleasantly surprised by the quality. The Pouloses are the family behind this homey restaurant. We start 40 years ago, there was nothing out here. Oh, he always worked in restaurants. He started from the bottom and worked his way up to owning. And my dad somehow caught wind of this location being up for sale. It had been closed for about four years. All his friends that he brought out here thought he was crazy for thinking about buying it. And he did. Uh, and, you know. He fell in love with the place. Yeah. The building, however, has an even longer history. It was built in 1947 by uh, the Rusick family. This room we're in right now, we've updated. This actually used to be a general store on this side of the restaurant. And then the other side where the log cabin look is at has always looked like that from day one. While mom and dad originally bought the restaurant, it's the two brothers who now run the family business. Still I have my life here, you know, because my sons are here, my granddaughter's working, both of them working here, uh, and the whole family's here. Well, this is a beautiful spread, so let's get into the menu, and we're going to start with one of their starters. This is their ale and onion soup. It's kind of like a fun take on a French onion. So it has craft beer in the broth, molten gruyere cheese, Parmesan on top, and fresh chives. Next, we have another fun take on a classic with these baked mozzarella sticks. So these actually have puff pastry on the outside, making them nice and flaky. And they come with two dipping sauces, tomato and ranch. And rounding out the starters, we have the creamy crab dip. This is made with lump crab, lots of cream cheese, dill, green onion, and it's served with grilled ciabatta and sesame crackers. For the vegetarians, you can try this fall-inspired pear and arugula salad. It's also topped with butternut squash, fresh feta, blueberries, walnuts, pickled onions, and is all dressed in a chia maple vinaigrette. So one thing that's really cool is that they have their own smoker here, and so you can get this Texas brisket sandwich. The brisket has been smoked for 12 hours. It's dressed in this zip barbecue sauce. You also have andouille sausage, coleslaw, pickles, crispy onions, and it's all in a brioche bun. Another thing they use their smoker for are these gorgeous St. Louis style ribs. So these are hickory smoked with a dry rub. It also comes with kosla and hand cut fries. Check out this maple glazed salmon. So this is a Scottish salmon. It's served on a bed of butternut squash risotto and it comes with a side of kale, bacon and apple salad. And finally, they love to do specials and this is some comfort food from the British Isles. It's shepherd's pie. Underneath these fluffy whipped potatoes is a beef and lamb stew with onions, carrots, peas, and a wine gravy. Hey, Michelle, did I see a tent outside or do they do outdoor seating? Yes, they have a gorgeous outdoor patio. They started creating it during COVID. So as you can see, it's covered. It's actually really warm in there. So they have the fireplace going. They have several different heaters. So it's definitely a vibe when you go in there. And then in the summer, they have picnic tables outside, too, for a lot of extended seating. It's already a big restaurant, and now it's even bigger. Very nice. So it seems like a very family-run place. So is this the Carl of the Carl's Cabin, the patriarch that we saw in the photos? Yes. So it definitely is a family-run place. And Carl Pulos, he was the father that originally bought the place. They, he passed away, sadly, eight years ago but they wanted to honor him. So in memory of him, they're doing us there. They have been doing scholarships to Schoolcraft culinary program. They give away $1,500. 
since they started it, they've given away over $30,000. So if you're interested in going into the culinary field, check out this really great um, scholarship and Schoolcraft's a great college for, for culinary. It really is. Michelle, where's Carl's Cabin located? It's at 6005 Gottfordson Road in Plymouth. It's on the corner of Gottfordson and Old North Territorial. Very nice, Michelle. Another gem you uncovered and shared with us. Thank you.